All right, YouTube. This is the last update I'm going to bring you on my solar generator. Um, it's 99% to uh, where I want it to be right now. Um, I went ahead and painted the stand, the framework. What I'm going to do is instead of using this hand truck to roll it around with, I'm just going to add a set of wheels to the back corner here like a, like a roll around suitcase and then um, maybe a small handle at the top that I just push it over. Actually right now it, it'll stay like that because of the little stands I put underneath it. So I'll add a set of wheels to that back corner and then I can roll it around the garage or wherever I need to bring it. I did wire up my DC um, battery voltage indicator and that comes on. See I'm at 100%, 12.8 volts and it's 75 degrees here in the garage. And I have my uh, little accessory bank here for USB and um, cigarette lighter outlet. My charge controller is indicating uh, batteries are fully charged. I've got my solar panels over here. I am going to add um, some hinges in between the two right along this joint there so I can fold them up, um, fold them together and uh, be a little bit more portable. I'll add a prop stand to the back so I can set it up, uh, freestand it in the yard instead of leaning it up against the garage door there. I added a uh, you know, I've got one of these SAE plugs there and an on-off switch for the solar panels. I can go ahead and flip the switch and I can see the, and maybe you can, maybe you can't, little blinking light off to the left indicating the uh, solar panels are charging. So, turn that off. That's it for now. Well, I think that's it for uh, for this project. I did not ever wire up this uh, AC indicator yet. I'm probably going to have to run a short little cord from here to uh, maybe another plug outlet up here. And then add that uh, whatever load indicator on that stretch of wire right here in order to get the AC uh, meter working. It's not really necessary since I have the DC meter which tells me what my batteries uh, are doing anyway. So it's probably something I, I didn't need to get for this. But it was on somebody else's plan so I was just kind of like borrowing off of their their design and uh, this is what I came up with. Will I ever stick it in a uh, tough box, uh, not really sure. Um, seeing as this is a trial and error, I wanted to try everything out first where I can get to everything pretty easily. And um, I'm kind of happy with the way this turned out. All right, thanks.